I know some people have said that they would not work in a building unless right. you came in and did an evaluation first right. and gave it a clean bill of health. We are a scientific group. We are looking for scientific evidence of the paranormal. We don't use Ouija boards. We don't use psychics. We don't do any of the, the hokey stuff that you see some of the other groups do or, or the uh, TV show people do. We actually look for verifiable um, scientific proof. And we present that to you. We'll tell you what we find, and we'll show you what we find, and let you hear what we find. But we still, you know, in good conscience, we can't tell you, yes, it's 100% paranormal, or no, it's not. But it's a pretty good indication. If you hear, you know, some voice, or you, you see something on video walking that you can't explain, there's, you know, it's a pretty good indication that there's probably something. So generally, this group, is, this group is not one that says there isn't a such thing as ghosts. All right. of y'all are, most of y'all are believers. We've all pretty much had experiences, yeah. Yeah. Experiential data is one of the things we capture too, personal experiences, but you really can't count that as scientific evidence, you know, because it's not reproducible. One person may have an experience and a person right next to you may not have the same experience. So it's really, it's a very personal um, type thing. So we're all, I think at one time all of us have had an experience. And why don't they do a better job on television? If they showed on TV what was really indicative of a true scientific investigation. Well, they're really not looking at it from a scientific perspective. But if they did, then advertisers would drop like flies because it's boring. They have to show something nonstop. You know, if you watch the TV shows, it's like <coughs> bam, bam, bam. Something happens nonstop, and it just it doesn't happen like that. I've been doing this for 13 years, and I've never seen that happen. Never. We've had locations that we've gone to that have there has been a lot of activity. There's been a lot of personal experiences, but it's still not like what you see on TV. You know, in a 30-minute TV show, you know, you, you might have, you know, five or ten occurrences, and it just doesn't, it doesn't happen like that in 30 minutes. How much would you, what would you expect to find? Maybe one or two occurrences or something? Probably one or two. Um, it, a lot of it also, I think, depends on the size of the group. We purposely tried to keep the group small tonight, um, just because the location is not a gigantic location. And we also find that the smaller group uh, tends to uh, elicit more activity. For some reason, when we have larger groups, I don't know, I don't know why. There's we have several theories, but we don't know exactly why. But the larger the group, the less activity for some reason. So we wanted to keep it small tonight in hopes that we do get something.